This is my dad and he is an expert in living with nature. He will be telling you the story of the relationship between cashew nut and the southern Thai people, like himself. Here is the cashew nut tree. It grows very tall, like mango tree. It has green leaves that is edible. The leaves is very tasty and goes so well with spicy curry. It is actually my favorite. And here is a cashew nut. Each nut grows individually and it is attached to cashew fruit. The fruit is edible. It has a strong and distinctive aroma, similar to jackfruit. The fruit has sweet and bitter flavor. Southern Thai people cook them in many different ways, such as making a spicy Thai salad. Let's take a look at the tiny cashew now. You can collect them by picking them off the fruit and let them dry in the sun for a couple of days to get rid of the sap. My dad is going to now show you how to toast cashew nut in a traditional Thai way. First, you will need to get coconut leaves. It has to be coconut leaves because the leaves give a wonderful aroma after it is burned. Next, you can lay out the cashew nuts on the sand nicely. You want to make it nice and straight because it will be easier when you flip them later on. Lit a fire on one of the leaves and cover the nut with the fire for a couple of minutes. Flip the nut and repeat the same method to cook the other side of the cashew. Now that our cashew is well toasted, let's break out the shell. And here is the freshly toasted cashew nuts. It tastes so much better than pan toasted cashew. If you ever have a chance, you must give it a try. My dad, he is an expert in living with nature. He will be back next time to tell you more story about how to live and eat like a local Thai person. This is all for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week. สวัสดีค่ะ